Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto and today we're going to show you how to remove the upper and lower casing of a steering column on our 07 Mazda 6 sedan. If you need any parts for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. We're going to disconnect the negative battery, 10 millimeter wrench, and if it's loose enough, slide it off. Got to remove the plastic cover that holds, hides the mounting bolt for the airbag, driver's side airbag. And that is going to be an eight millimeter socket. You just break that free. And repeat the process on the other side. There's one other mounting bolt on the other side. It's located almost directly across on the other side. You'll see the cover, same marking as the right side. Now with the two mounting bolts removed, you're going to grab the airbag module and just lift it out. Quick reminder before disconnecting the airbag module, make sure your negative cable has been disconnected from the battery for, I would like to say, a minimal of 10 minutes, and then you can disconnect. So to remove the two connectors on the driver's side steering wheel airbag module, these black plastic things are a clip, safety clip. Just pry it up and then push on the front tab and lift it out. Oh, that one popped all the way out, no big deal. Push on the front tab and lift it out. And I can place that aside. I'm going to put that lock clip right back in because it's not something I want to lose. You can actually probably snap them down. There we go. To remove the center nut for the steering column on the steering wheel, it's a 21 millimeter socket. Make sure your key is out in the lock position. that nut all the way off and this is where you're going to need a steering wheel puller okay so after I've taken my mounting nut off before I pull the steering wheel off I'm going to make a mark where the steering wheel was for centered so I'm going to make a 12 o'clock mark bring it down on the thread and mark my column stud so you don't need a steering wheel puller every time. Sometimes you can try just by wiggling the steering wheel back and forth. So I'm going to put the nut just slightly back on and I'm going to pull it back and forth. There we go. So I didn't need a puller on that one. Now I take the nut all the way off and I'm going to slide it down. Disconnect the little tab for the ground. And now I can see my tab here. I'm gonna pull on that clock spring tab. Pull it out. And there's the steering wheel. Now we gotta remove the steering column covers. And there's three Phillips screws. So one right here. One over here. Take full advantage of the cup holder at this point. <laughs> That's what we use as a bolt collector. And then one right here. Noting that out of the three screws, the two front ones with the silver with like a plastic, like a wood thread. That's like a, that's an actual wood thread screw. And the only one that had a machine screw was the one at the bottom. 
Now I'm going to take the tilt steering wheel and I'm going to pull down on the release arm, pull my steering column all the way down, tighten it. Now I have access to pry in on the top. I like to get my little pocket screwdriver for everything. See if I can pry that out. That's just brute force, like that. So when pulling the bottom column out, the ignition bulb just goes right in that little hole. So be careful when you pull that bottom column sleeve out. Make sure you make sure that bulb is out. I'm gonna bring that back down and lock it. This will not come out. I mean, you can disconnect the rubber if you feel like it, but I don't think it's a necessity. I'm just gonna tilt it back like that. I'm gonna line up, the, remember I'm gonna pull down on the steering column tilt handle, line the plastic column up first, then I'm gonna pull this down, tighten it back up. Now this will all fall in place. Don't forget to replace the alignment of that bulb that illuminates the ignition switch. So with that firmly lined up, I'm going to just take the top cover, snap it down. And remount my three screws down below. So to remind you, you've got two, two silver like uh, plastic screws. Those go in the front, top front up here. And the one machine screw goes on the bottom. I'm going to line up, make sure you put the airbag control module wires right through that slot. Now you can plug in your electrical connector to the clock spring. Or you can try. No. <laughs> there we go. And that clicked in. So now I've clicked the clock spring in. I'm going to bring the steering wheel up. I'm going to line up my pre-mark that I made with my marker. There we go. Now we know it's in the same position it was before we took it apart. And I'll put my lock nut down on the steering column. There is a torque spec to this. So the steering column nut, the torque on it is 36 foot-pounds. And it's a 21 millimeter socket. And there we go. Now I'm going to connect. They're color coded. That's nice of them. And I'm going to put the, uh, there's a lineup pin. And see, that's why they do that. Snap it down. And the safety lock is the black piece. Slide it down. And now I'm going to spin it around. Everything looks clear in there. Add it into place. There we go. Clicks in. You get your two mounting screws. These are eight millimeter sockets. And the second one is over here. Once they bought them out, you can torque them down to the manufacturer's specs, which is 12 foot pounds. And I'll tighten this one now. Now we can install the caps. And replace the other cap on the other side and you're done. Now it's time to connect the battery, 10 millimeter wrench. Make sure the terminal's all the way down. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.